My name is Liko Smith. I am co-founder of the world's first snowboarder hotels, The Block. What up? I'm Mark Frank Montoya, pro snowboarder, co-owner of The Block, brand management, things like that. With the help of professional snowboarder, Mark Frank Montoya, we created a hotel that was for snowboarders, by snowboarders. I think this place is going to take off like a wildfire. I think this place is going to be huge. This place rules. Yo, now each one, each one, each one, young gun on one. Listen to the warriors drum. Everything about it is, is super cool. The people that stay there just love it. The whole atmosphere of snowboarders being around snowboarders and everybody's there to have a good time and party. The whole atmosphere is such a different atmosphere from all these bunk other hotels. And we have pool tables. Bunch of computers, internet in the lobby, free beer, free energy drinks, free little energy bars, you know, like free game and movie rental. Nobody likes to be nickel and dime, especially snowboarders. We give we give them everything for free. We charge them once and that's it. In the block hotels, we have the signature rooms. I thought it'd be cool to get the you know the dopest companies to come in here and design their own room. And you know, I'm real picky about what companies come in here, just the, the true companies with a good image and the ones that really care about snowboarding, skateboarding, not not the ones that are just out for the money. And so everybody's backing us. It's a cool thing. There's a lot of this sort of negative stigma that's attached to snowboarders. So how could they possibly run a hotel? Uh, I am a snowboarder. I am a hotelier. Hotels have 56-inch plasmas, PS2s, they have Xboxes, iPod radios, surround sound systems. The rooms at the block are as competitive or as good as any hotel in any resort town. Um, and we're getting the rates. If you're a snowboarder, it is the only place you're ever going to want to stay. We're going to show you the block. Stereo blazing all day, hot tubs, barbecues, computers, pool tables, all the, all the things that you're going to need, you know? How did I get the idea to start the Block Hotels? I just looked around me. I saw hundreds of snowboarders walking around with their boards and nobody really catering to them in Lake Tahoe. All I do is travel from state to state, staying in the hotels, following the snow, and, and none of the hotels are just right for snowboarders. They're just bunk, uptight, just looking at us like punks, and, and I was tired of it. The one goal we have at the block is when a snowboarder walks into the block, the first thing he says is, that's me. That's our goal. Just everything I do, I want to I want to treat people good, I want the best atmosphere, best things to do, make it the most fun. Your stay is coupled with music, entertainment, nightlife, community, all of the personnel at the block of snowboarders. This is any day you stay there. One, two. We've had two block parties, both that have brought 5,000 or 6,000 or 7,000 additional people into the community. We've shot a reality show there, eight episodes. We know there's another block rail jam coming up this week. Yeah, so much style, so many tricks. I'm just sick. I'll be there. I've never seen him ride, and he talks like he is just the greatest gift on the earth. We've pretty much become, in a lot of ways, our own little ecosystem of commerce. And I think this is going to be a recurring theme when we open in other communities. When we open in Breckenridge, we're going to fill up all the clubs, fill up all the bars. When we open in Switzerland, fill up all the clubs, fill up all the bars. Any weekend at the block, there's going to be parties. There's probably be three or four different events at the, at the block. Inadvertently, we've become sort of a special event magnet. Party, what's up? Block party. The block party just turned out to be the largest non-scheduled snowboarding event in the snowboard world in less than three years. I think it's only going to get bigger, and I think uh, in three to five years, it's going to be one of our hottest properties. Is there a market for the block hotels? Absolutely. This brand has had more success in two or three years than I've seen other brands have in 30 years. I knew it would work, because he, he knows how to run a hotel, and it's the perfect timing. 
you know, people need it, first ones to do it. I mean, it's just perfect. I knew it would work for sure. Please be clear, this is an invasion. Snowboarding is really the future of the resort town. By 2015, there will be more snowboarders than skiers on the mountains. That is a mathematical fact. There has never been a better time in history to create a brand like the Block Hotels. The Echo Boomers, the 18 to 25 right now, the largest freshman college class in the history of the world took place last year in 2006. That is the crux of our, of our core market. If you're 18 to 25 and you snowboard, there's a very good chance that you would crawl through broken glass to get to the Block Hotel. However, the most dynamic part of this is that the 8 to 14, 8 to 13 year olds, they're almost as large as the baby boomers and creeping up behind them. And they're also very loyal to the brand. The reason that advertisers love the block is because there is a 1,000% chance that the person sleeping in that room either loves snowboarding or aspires to be a snowboarder or at least respects the lifestyle. That's what makes the block a unique brand. There is no brand out there today in the resort community that has the authenticity, the brand recognition that is as embraced by snowboarders than the Block Hotels. We're our own customer, and we embody that in every single thing that we do. What's the future of the Block Hotels? Larger hotels, more revenues from food and beverage, uh, nightclubs, terrain parks. Definitely more seasons of our reality show. And we plan to duplicate this model. Uh, I'd like to do 20 more locations in the next five years. That's my goal. And worldwide. Uh, and all the high profile markets first. I want to be able to travel to each resort when there's snow, the best snow at that resort in that state. I want to be able to go there and go to the block. We have to be everywhere because they need us. We're needed at all these resorts, man. Once, once people stay at the block, they don't want to stay anywhere else. And they don't feel right anywhere else. We'd like to do Nagano, Whistler, Burlington, Breckenridge, Vail, Aspen, Park City. We're looking for people to invest in a brand that understands snowboard, that understand where we're going with the brand, that it's not a short-term objective, it's a long-term play. We're going to meet any financial standards of any other organization in the hotel industry, but it's got to be deeper than that. If you're going to invest in the Block Hotels, or you're going to be a partner with the Block Hotels, you've got to care about the future of snowboard. More importantly, you've got to care about the future of snowboarders. We pay well, we treat our people well, we treat our managers well, we have high expectations. There's no more satisfying of an investment that you can make with your money or your time than investing in the Block Hotel. I know it because I live it. Is it?